Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Rival alongside Brooks Monaghan and Coach. You go on the road for the first time this year. Solid split. You like to win them all, but as a ranked team you started off with at <coughs> Candace, very close to one game where they scored late. Yeah, a bit of a heartbreaker. I tell you what, going into that game, um, we got to watch some film on Kansas, and I thought they had all the pieces mm -hmm. to to be a top 15 team. And um, <clears throat> we felt very prepared. Um, the kids really stuck to the game plan. Went up one nothing. had a great chance to go up 2 nothing. go into halftime feeling really good. Um, second half, you could tell their coach had gotten into them a little bit to lift their energy, and ca they came out and... Uh, you know, it's the game, but a very questionable penalty they got, and sometimes that can change the game, so they tied it up. And, uh, you know, I thought at the end of the day, we played about 88 minutes of fantastic soccer. Uh, missed another great chance at the crossbar in the second half. But, uh, you know, the last goal was a little bit of breakdown on us, mental breakdown with some defending. But, um, you know, it was, it, it was a tough one, Jeff. It was a really tough one because it was a great opportunity. You got to remember, we lost six starters last year. So to hang with a team of that caliber, I was very proud in the end, but it was still tough to swallow. You came back two days later. This is a long trip. It was a Thursday, <clears> Sunday <throat> trip for you. Played an afternoon game at Omaha on the field turf. Uh, watched a little bit of that game online. One nothing win. Yeah, you know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a pretty game at all. Um, typical Sunday match. Mm -hmm. um, just we weren't very sharp. Um, probably had a few kids that. Uh, um, you know, we, we talked about it, just uh, uh, didn't perform to their level. And those things happen, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we were able to get the results, so we were able to hopefully teach some lessons and still still get the win. But, uh, you know, anytime you're playing on a different surface and the turf and stuff like that, it, it, it changes the game. But, uh, again, we got the result, but uh, wasn't a fantastic performance. Have to get better going into this weekend, of course. Those are the games that add up that you'll need at the end of the year, though, because back ends of a road trip are tough <coughs> uh, at any point in the season, whether it's conference or, or non-conference, especially when you're you're on the road for four and a half days. So just to find a way to grind it out is big. No, that's that's right, and that's what we talk to the girls about. You know, it's easy to get up, you know, for those Thursday or Friday night games under the lights, and then you're playing in the heat and. You know, there's three fans and their dog yeah, in the yeah. stands, and it's just the atmosphere isn't the same, but it doesn't matter. There's two teams that have to play, and it's just the consistency, and that was one of the messages we talked with our kids. I mean, we've played three very good overall mm -hmm. games, um, and, you know, our last was not uh, was not on the same level, and we've just got to bounce back. And if we don't, we'll get punished, you know, especially like, the, you know, with the likes of the teams we're playing this weekend. Coach, quickly, a couple of uh, weekly awards. Uh, Stacey gets <laughs> Defensive Player of the Week, Elizabeth Goalkeeper of the Week, and you get Serena on the honor roll. Yeah, no, it's good for them. I think, uh, obviously, Moberg didn't play in the first uh, match against Kansas, and, you know, I have to give a shout-out to Rachel because she had a phenomenal mm -hmm. game, and we didn't we didn't miss a beat with, with Rachel in goal. Um and then Moberg, you know what? I mean, she got the shutout. She didn't have to do a lot on Sunday. And um, but uh, you know, anytime these kids get awards, I'm not going to complain. I'm happy for them. And there's never been a kid that's got an award that I really don't think deserves it in the big picture. So good for them, and hopefully it gives them confidence moving forward. You got a home and away this weekend, so you started at home Friday night against North Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a team that we've never faced, but uh, has been a consistent uh, champion in Conference USA, our old conference. And um, you know, it's it's. Uh, I haven't watched any film on them yet, but we'll be doing that here um, here today and tomorrow. But uh, um, a very good team knows how to win, um, and that's really all I know right now. But we'll 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 have them. Uh, scouted and be ready for obviously Friday night kickoff, but uh, definitely going to be a tough, tough game. You're going to turn around, you're going to hit the road Saturday for a Sunday match down in Starkville, Mississippi State. Yeah, you know, another SEC opponent. You know, they um, they got us last year here at home, and you know, they're uh, you know, another NCAA team as, as North Texas yeah. is, so a uh, new coach this year, but uh, they're playing pretty well, pretty good soccer based on the results. Haven't really watched them, but uh, uh, we know that um, you know they, they have a very, very strong record at home. I don't think they lost at all last year, and uh, uh, I think they maybe lost one this year. But um, they, over the years, they've always been very, very tough to beat at, at their place. All right, sounds good. We'll see you Friday night, Coach. Yep.
That's head coach Brooks Monaghan. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.